tonight. I swear that that's not a lie. Of course, it's horrible for me to be saying this, but what did it take to push me here? And now he's sitting on his couch saying, I'm not going to bash her, but blah, 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 blah. He's bashing me in a nice way. And this is what he does. He wants, he has boxes of receipts. I was talking about screenshots, but not receipts. Do you really think Tiffany pays for everything? I was so, I became, you know, when you, when you date an addict, you become codependent and you get used to the high that they give you in between the fighting and in between the angry moments, there's those little bursts of really happy, happy, happy moments. So that's the high that I was looking for 24 seven. So when he was doing okay, he was looking for a job. He wasn't going out doing messed up things. I, I knew for a, for a fact because I bought five drug tests and I had them on the fridge. And every time I'd suspect, I'd say, Ronald, I'm feeling a little bit uncomfortable. Can you just do it? I did them twice. And twice he's like, nah, they're wrong. So I don't want to hear it. I'm not lying about a damn thing. He can try to cover, but he can't lie to me. I've been there. I've suffered through it. I struggled through it. And I have a very deep attachment to him. Unfortunately, I have that trauma bond that is still very strong. I fell asleep multiple nights crying, wondering, wow, his phone's been off for five days. Where is he? I would contact his neighbors upstairs and say, hey, has Ronald come home yet? Sorry, Tiff. No. Or, or one time I called him and I, said, and I asked him, is he cheating on me? Because he said, baby, I'm going to go out for my birthday with this person. Me, traumatized me, I said, are you sure this is a good person? Are you sure that you're going to come back home tonight, Ronald, while I was pregnant? And he's like, no, pr trust me. Nothing bad's going to happen. You can trust me. Those exact words, you can trust me. He left and never came back. I called and I called and I called and I called. The phone was off. He came back the next day at 7 a.m. And his neighbors were like, he just came back now. Um, I forget. He doesn't have his bike. He just came back now. Some car dropped him off. So there's that. He did that to me the whole time. It is, it's almost impossible to break that, that trauma bond unless I go no contact. So that's what I'm doing. When he says I don't let him talk to Carly, he knows that is a bold face lie. I said... Ronald, in order for me to get past this, in order for me in a healthy way that works for me to let go of you, which is what I want to do. I'm not happy with him. I want to let go. In order for me to move on, I need to have zero contact with you. Not a message, not a call, nothing. Daniel's phone, I set him up with a phone plan. I said, Ronald, you can call Carly at any time on the weekends and during the weekdays after 3.30 p.m. That's when Daniel gets out of school. I do not want him calling my phone because he uses that to throw little stones at me and then we get into a fight and then it just starts all over again. I've been doing this for years. So I'm not doing it anymore. I do let him talk to Carly. I have screenshots where I said, Ronald, I don't want you messaging my phone. Message Daniel's phone and you can call anytime. I fixed the WhatsApp so he can contact her anytime. So that's a lie. The drugs saying that he doesn't use drugs, that's a lie. And I have proof. I, I just don't understand where he gets off. And then, yes, and then he did watch me yesterday. I don't have screenshots of him doing the deed because I was doing my thing. He said I'm sick in the head because I said that. Why is he saying that? Because he doesn't want Lauren to know that that's what happened. Girl, that's what happened. I, ha I sent her the screenshots of how he called me twice yesterday on a video call. Twice. One for 20 minutes, one for 40 minutes. That's when it happened. Why would I make that up? Because, like, literally, logically, think of this. Am I going to sit here and make pretend that that's what happened so that she can get mad at him? And for what? For what? So she can be mad at him. Oh my gosh, I did something. No, that's what happened. Ronald gave me once again, mixed signals. We were talking for hours and then that happened. And he told me he loved me. He told me he was scared because I was either A, going to get back at him or B, 
it was going to go back to the way things were where we hate each other. So the whole thing is messy. The whole thing. Yep, it's the honeymoon phase, but it's different with Ronald. It's different with Ronald. It's not just the honeymoon phase. I'm afraid of TLC's rep reputation of me. I was always me. I was always me. And he said that my head has gotten blown up by being on TV. As a matter of fact, I am so honest with you guys that it's insane. I tell you guys things that women don't want to come on here and say because of my pride, right? If I was a woman with my, my pride or my head being too big, I would be like, no, I don't want him. I don't need him. I can have anyone. No. I clearly said that like a dog, I was crying and begging yesterday. Ronald, let's fix our family. Ronald, let's give it one last chance. I said that. My head is not too big. I'm honest with exactly how things went down. Yep. Including the video call yesterday. We don't. We don't. Definitely. You know what? I, I think the love I have for Ronald is no longer love. I know for a fact it's codependency. When you're in a relationship with a, a addict or a recovering addict, you become absolutely codependent. The person who is the partner of the addict becomes addicted to picking them back up, to solving their problems, to almost like controlling them. Like, don't do that. You're gonna you're gonna mess up. Don't do this. I know what you're doing. Why are you taking the, the laptop to the pawn shop? Just get a job, work, make money. <sighs> he says, I always ask him for money. I have told him like 10 times, Ronald, this is not just my responsibility. If you had a job and paid all your bills and at the end of the month you were left with $10, what counts for me is you saying, you know what? It's my responsibility to help too. Here's $5. I'm going to keep the other five so I can eat. That's the right way to do things. But he wants to control the narrative. I'm a money hungry person. If I was money hungry, all his money would be mine. Tell them to ask him what size Carly is in diapers. <laughs> ask him what size Carly is in diapers. He won't know. Ask him what size Carly is in clothes. Mm -hmm. Just ask him what it's size is she in shoes. Her shoes. Uh -huh. Did he buy a truck for his job? That's what he says. But I, it, I, he doesn't work. And if he does, it's little side jobs. Which congratulations to him. But as far as I know, up to one month ago. He was just doing nothing except sitting in the garage all day, installing a sound system in his truck. It is insane. Insane. And then he goes and says that I don't let him have contact with Carly. No, I don't let him have contact with me for my own good. I told him I need to go no contact. And yesterday and the day before and the day before... There's two times in between this whole, ever since he posted that video, twice only, has he said, I don't want you. I want her. But then he says, if you want to go, then go. But I haven't, I can't make my decision because I don't want to choose one thing and lose the other. And I ha he asked me yesterday, what insurance do I have that things are not going to go exactly back to how they were? What insurance can I give him? He goes, normal relationships, ha this and this and this happens, Tiffany. Why can't you just be normal? Why can't you just show me that things are going to be different before I choose you? Like I'm a little fucking runner up. Mm, you pick me. He can be with the girl. I did slap him. Absolutely, I slapped him. He slammed the door in front of me. And my initial reaction was pop. Popped him right in the face. Absolutely. Ronald has also thrown me on the ground. He's not an abusive man. He has never laid a hand on me. But I went and we got into an argument and I got this stupid frame he has. of a. It was a collage of pictures of me. I got it and I broke it. And he grabbed my hand and he threw me on a mattress. That was on the floor. And then he apologized. Insane. In sane he told me keep it clean on social media he told me keep it clean on social media and i said you have my word why did i not keep it clean on social media why did i break my word because he's a liar 
because he wants me to keep quiet while he tells his story. And hell no, that's not going to happen. Absolutely not. I have been way too good to him. We are not legally divorced. He keeps telling everyone that I'm not legally married in the United States. But the marriage in South Africa is legally and it's recognized in the United States. So I am a married woman in the United States, unfortunately. All of it has been abuse. Everyone wants to laugh and say, I'm screaming, abuse, abuse, abuse. That is exactly what it is. Exactly what it is. I have pictures. I have a hidden album in my phone because I don't want anyone to see it except me. So I have a hidden album in my phone of the pictures of him doing that deed yesterday. And I've got screenshots of all the little baggies that I find Oh, you know what? Let me give this girl some... You know what? If I say it on here, then he'll know the tricks. I'm going to maybe DM her before he tells her to block me. He doesn't want... He doesn't want her knowing the truth. Also, he did not send anybody to me to sign divorce papers. Never. Never. If he sent that paper to me and I was served divorce papers, I would have been signed them. This is the messiest, most embarrassing situation I've ever dealt with in my whole life. My whole life. It is literally a disaster. Absolutely he is. Good for him. I don't even want to message the girl, honestly. I want to, but I don't want to because... She reminds me of me when I first met him. When I first met him, I was like, oh my gosh, he loves me so much. He treats me so good. He gives me that like really passionate love. It's like a love story. Oh my gosh, another country. So cute. Um, Probably for her, she's like, oh, he's on TV. So cool. And then like, yeah. And then literally, I give it a few months before he starts showing his true colors, unless he hides it really well. And she is oblivious that's what's gonna happen he's gonna start making her feel worthless he's gonna convince her no it's different with you i treated her like that because i hated her because i didn't like her and that's why she feels like that you're different he said that about his ex too i don't know why ronald sounds so convincing probably because he's a narcissist and he's an expert at this i fell for it too i'm not stupid I know I seem stupid, but I'm not stupid. And he had me convinced. I hope Lauren has a full bank account too. A mess. She will figure it out in her own time. And I just need for all of this to be done. All of it. The... He is... I don't know if he's still live. I came live to correct the lies. He said... That I don't let him speak to Carly. Incorrect. I have messages saying, Ronald, I need to go no contact. I don't want you contacting my phone. You may speak to Carly anytime you want on the weekends. And during the week, after 3.30 p.m., so you can contact Daniel's phone. He fought with me after that and said, you know what? Rather not. Rather not because X, Y, Z. Because he wants to have contact with my phone. Absolutely need a break. He also said, what else did he say? Oh, that, that I was served divorce papers and I refused to sign them. Also a lie. I wonder if that's what he said to Lauren. Oh, I wonder if he's telling Lauren that, like, I refused to divorce. That you, uh, you, you wouldn't let him speak to Carly because you were like, we're talking. Oh, yeah. Never. <laughs> um, to answer this question, Vanilla Kisses, because he's my husband. What? Why did I have that video call with him yesterday? Because he's my husband. And because... Because, like... <laughs> what do you think? There's an on and off switch? <laughs> yeah, like... It's not an on and off switch. You don't just turn it off. It, that's what happens. He's... Who is, the, who is that? Let me see. We don't know. He's a perpetual victim. And the worst part is... Oh, uh, yeah. I, it's already been a struggle. Yeah, tell, I want to see those Amazon... Yeah, Nails. you guys, you guys do me a favor. Here we go. You guys do me a favor. Go and ask him. DM him. Guys, go DM him. Say, send me the receipts. Send me the receipts for the plane tickets you bought. Send me the receipts for the, the boxes of diapers that you bought. He's bought one box of diapers. Maybe two. Ask him for the receipts. Ask him for all the things. Oh, where's all his contributions? 
You know, bank account, bank statements, they're saved forever. Tell him. Tell him to send it to you guys. Tell him to show you guys how it is that he knows papers were served to me and I refuse to sign them. Tell him to screenshot and show you guys how I said, no, you may not speak to Carly. Ask him. Because <laughs> I know I've got my receipts. I've got my receipts of him telling me all the things I just told you guys. I saved it all. He, he has a box full of them. A box full. Because he, does, he can't act right. When I visited, everything was paid for. What he's talking about is the rent. <laughs> the rent for his apartment was paid for, and that's what he threw in my face. I kept telling him, I pay for everything. I pay for all the food. I pay for literally any time we go out, anything that you need, anything that I need, all the gas. I pay for it on it. He goes, of course you do. You have a place to stay, right? I pay the rent. <laughs> like, thanks. <laughs> wow, kiss his feet. Yeah. Gosh. And yes, he did ask for pictures when I was hanging out with my friend. It is insane. Can you, can you proof? I, I just don't understand. I don't, I don't get it. I'm gonna... He can't even grow a beard. What's the point? Yes. <laughs> no. I just... The thing that gets me is that he can, with a straight face, go on live and say... Tiffany is out of her mind. She that's delusional. I didn't do that yesterday. You should tell him it's illegal in the Bible to lie. It's illegal in the Bible to lie. <laughs> um I did. I did say that. I did say that. That's the problem. I did. He also said it. Colt Eagle. <laughs> oh. incredible. It's incredible. He goes. He goes. And says that I'm lying about everything, but I have receipts for almost everything. Almost everything. You never trust a man whose beard don't connect, honey. <laughs> oh, no. So confused. He deleted the post. I asked him to. So that shows you we were still talking. I said, take that down right now. That really hurts my feelings. Do you want to be with her? I don't know. Do you want to be with me? I don't know. How do you not know? Because if I choose you, I lose her. And if I choose her, I lose you. <laughs> Ronald don't want this noise. Hell no, he doesn't. <laughs> you know what? <sighs> when I talk to him, it's different because I want to kill him. But you feel that, that like, you don't just turn a switch off when you are ending a situation with him. Yeah, the marriage is too damaged. You don't just stop loving someone just because, like, oh, we're getting a divorce. It's over. Or he just surprised me by having a new girlfriend. That doesn't mean my, like, heart immediately, like, dies and that's it. I don't love him. I still love him and I'm okay saying that. I still love him. And it hurts my feelings, everything that he's doing. But I will not allow him to lie about me. Hello, where is the other father? He passed away. Love is not a faucet. You can't shut it off. Absolutely. Absolutely. But don't play with me. Do not play with me. Because I'm very nice. I'm very kind. And, and as you guys can see, I take a lot of hits. A lot of hits. And I get angry and I react sometimes. But for the most part, I keep it calm. I keep it calm. But no, you are not. You're not going to say whatever you want about me and then go, oh, she's trying to break us up. She's trying to this. No, honey, you were breaking yourself up. You were messing around on your girlfriend with your wife. You were cheating on your girlfriend with your wife. She's not a sneaky link. I know he likes her, but he's lying to the girl's face. And she, as a woman, should not accept that. Just like I shouldn't have, but I already did. I already took all his shit. I allowed it. I enabled it. This girl should respect herself. 
I sent her the screenshots and she's ignoring it. And you know what? I'm no one in this situation, even though I'm the wife. I'm no one in this situation to say, girl, get out of that relationship. But she's going to learn the hard way, just like I did. Just like I did. And I know she thinks she's the exception. But you're not. And no, he doesn't smoke his meth. He snorts it. I never even heard of that. But it's a little baggie with a tiny little straw. Anytime I see a straw on the floor, I'm so triggered. And I would make jokes with him afterwards. I'd find a little straw that was like, that went with something else. And I'd go, <gasps> triggered. And he'd start laughing. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Johnny. Oh, it's over. It's been over. It's been over. <laughs> I I officially ended it months ago, but then we were kind of like spittle spaddle in between, and then he posted the video of the girl. But months ago, I said, "Leave, go away. We're done." But it's really hard to break away from the narcissistic love, from the trauma bond that you form with someone who gives you nothing but emotional abuse. He said John is Carly's dad. Who's John? I have a no idea. I don't even know why. If he said that, that's insane. Oh, that's the person I have a black cheated. tooth. No, I don't. That's the person who said you cheated on him. Oh, yeah. I cheated on him with a guy named John. I'm claiming, DM me. I'm claiming, DM me. What? What's that mean? Because they're saying, now you're claiming he's a drug addict. And I said, DM me. DM me. I have the screenshots of the conversations and the, the pictures of the product. I'm not going to give you his number. I'm not going to put his number out there. I have him, I'm not going to message the girl anymore. I already did. I tried to warn her, but it's not my place. She wants to date my husband. She can. I'm just not going to, Carly's a little Ronald clone. Yeah, it's insane for him to even say that she was not his daughter. But he said that I cheated on him and that's a lie. Ask him to send you proof. He's wild. He's wild and likes to paint me as a freaking crazy person. And he has a girlfriend when he's still married, but then he tells everyone, I'm divorced. I'm divorced and Tiffany doesn't sign the thing. Lies. So are you divorced or did you refuse to sign the thing? Which one is it? Because it yeah. can't be both. It can't be both. Yeah. He says he's divorced, but then he goes and says, but she won't sign the paper. So who's lying? I, Devin, I've been, t Devin, I talked to you about the drugs. How long ago? Devin. Devin knows. Devin's been known. I messaged Devin when I was pregnant and suffering with this man. I told her everything. Actually, she's one of the very few people I told during all my struggles because she opened up about like things that were going on with her and her partner at the time. I told her, this man, I, I had such high hopes for this relationship and this is what he's doing. Girl, I think we still have that conversation saved in there. Like, a year and a half ago, I've been going through this and I've been hiding it from everyone. I told you too, John. John, John, do you remember when I ran away to an Airbnb because I was in South Africa and we started getting into it and he started yelling in my face. I started yelling in his face and I said, I can't do this. I'm leaving. So I wanted to get in a car and an Uber and go to an Airbnb with Carly. And he said... You're not taking Carly. You're not taking Carly. He kept Carly from me. That was so scary to think like, what if I leave my daughter with Ronald and I never see her again? He, he's the type. So I spoke to his mom and his dad and I said, please don't let him take Carly out of this house, please. I had to sleep in a different place. He actually said to me something. He said something to me. 
he'll never, I don't think he's a, a woman abuser, but he said to me that this is why women get hit. Because you want to act like a man, you're going to get hit like a man or something like that. And then he said to me that I'm just like his ex or something like that. Emotional abuse is still abuse. Yeah. So just so you see, I spoke to John about it over a year ago. I spoke to Devin about it over a year ago about everything. So to think that I'm just making it up now, BS. Renee... Renee, it is. It is an ongoing situation that I'm dealing with all the time. And you know that. I even told you, Renee. It's like people want to think that I'm making all this up now because he has a girl and I'm mad that he has a girl. No. This has been going on for so long and I've been quiet. I've been quiet because I was never willing to mess up his beautiful picture he paints to the world that he's a great loving guy a great father and that i'm the unhinged one do you remember Devin? a year and a half ago i said i hope not a year and a half ago i don't know how long ago but i told you i hope that i have the luck that you had to get out of this shitty situation and end up with someone who treats me like i'm actually worth something do you remember i said that to you yeah. What happened two weeks ago? Hmm. Ignore him. He wants attention. He doesn't want attention. I know he doesn't want attention. He's not doing this for attention. He's doing this because I'm spitting the truth. I'm spitting facts. And he's going to try to break apart every single thing I say to protect his image. A, to protect his image. B, to make sure that Lauren doesn't know that he's playing her. With his wife, but playing her. Um, he's not live right now, but he was. I don't know if he posted it, but I'm posting mine. I know I'm a good woman. I know I'm a good woman. But <clears throat> I was stupid to put up with it for as long as I did. And I did love him a lot. I know a lot of it is me uh, being attached to him versus me being actually in love with him. Because even over two years ago, we hit a point where he lied to me about what he was doing on New Year's. I figured it out and I said, you're at this person's house. He sent me a video of where he is. And I said, mm, there's a video about it on YouTube actually. I said, no, nope, I know where you are. I sent him screenshots, screenshots of the girl's house and I said, you're at this person's house. He called me crazy. He said I was a psycho. He said I was making up stories. Recently, he finally told me the truth. Yes, I was there. The girl he was with ended up telling me. Um, I spoke to her and I said, so what happened that night? And she goes, nothing, nothing too bad. We hung out, we had a couple drinks, we snorted a couple lines of crystal meth. So he called me crazy and psycho and that I was making shit up and made me even think like, wow, that is the same couch and the same bed and the same kitchen. But maybe I am crazy. Maybe I'm making things up. Like he made me question like whether I was seeing things. That's what he does. And to the girl, if, she, if you see this, just know that he is lying to you. When he's telling you we didn't have that video call yesterday, he's lying to you. When he says I'm making up the things about the drugs, he's lying to you. I don't know what else he says to you. You can message me whenever you want. You can ask me for whatever proof you want. Yesterday, when I was on live and I said that he was watching our video, I sent you the screenshot where he says um, that he's watching our video, the sex one. I sent her the screenshot. When I said to him, Ronald, I have... Thank you, Angelique. When I have, and I told you, Angelique, I was at your house. But when I sent him the screenshot, I said, Ronald, stop saying that I'm lying. Here's the screenshot of the things you said to me. Don't play with me. He goes, yeah, whatever. You're, you're, you're editing things. You're editing things. I'm like, if you'd like, guys, I can go into his chat and take a screen recording of our actual whole chat so that you can see it's not edited. In sane in fucking sane 
This man is lying out of his teeth. He lied to me. Yeah, he said he hasn't talked to Carly for two weeks. I was at her phone. The, I was at her house the other day and he called her. Insane. He, he spoke to Carly like three days ago. Hasn't spoke to her in two weeks. I was at her at my dining table holding the phone for her. There we go. Angelique. Right there. He is a liar. When am I divorcing him? He had me sign divorce papers. Angelique. John, John says hi. Um, he had me sign on like a, an email. A divorce paper. Right? He kept asking me. And I finally did it. I said, you know what? And that's when he knew I was done. And that's why he did everything he's doing. The woman is from the UK. Um, so I signed the thing and I said, I'm done. Like, here, take your, take your thing, submit it, whatever. What happened ever since then? Did he submit it? I'm not wearing my wedding rings. This is my right hand. And these are from Chloe and Lewis, my favorite jewelry brand. He said he has to delete his account. Because you following him under an IG under a fake account. Guys, <clears throat> tell me this. He said that I'm following him under a fake account. Yes, honey. I have a little ghost account where I do my sneakiness, right? How did he know I was live? How did he watch my live? How did he know exactly what I said in order to make his rebuttal towards me? How? Is he not saying that... Is he not saying that I have a fake account? Isn't that what he's doing? This man has turned my life upside down for years. And last night when I had this man say, Tiffany, after watching me get naked, when I had this man tell me, Tiffany, it's over. I don't want you. I want her. I choose her. When he said those words to me, after literally hours before that, changing it up, he's saying I Googled the baggies. <laughs> the ones that I sent to his mom and his... Okay. I'll show you guys everything I need. That's not... Those are my hands holding the baggies. I'll show you guys. Don't worry. I have more than one picture. So after all these years of going through this, that's how it ended last night with him watching me and telling me that we are going to do this. Then later saying, Sorry, Tiffany, I don't want you. I want her. It's over. And I was like, that's painful for any woman to hear, right? Even if the person is garbage. He's not deleting his Instagram. He's just being dramatic. Um, so then the night ended like that. To me, that's it. That is it. I am I'm going no contact. I had my friend teach me how to block someone from emailing me because I can block him on WhatsApp. I can block him on Skype. I can block him on Instagram. I can block him everywhere. I didn't know I could block someone on email. She did it for me. So now he may not contact me. He's going to call Daniel to speak to Carly. If he ever tells you guys again that he didn't speak to Carly, it is because he is not trying. So you guys can go check out his post. You guys, yes, Devin, seriously. You guys can go check out his post. How, he, how about how he's going to bash me right now and talk down on me. But I'm telling truths. And if you guys ever, he once mentioned he's not a drug user. That's a lie. If he ever says he doesn't talk to Carly, it is a lie. He's over there trying to pick up the mess, his truths, my truths that are also his truths. And he's going to try to, rein it all back and control the situation in order to not lose the girl. Watch. Keep an eye on his page. Watch. Watch what he does now. So you guys can see that he really is who I say he is. The most important is the character and person you look. The looks is just extra. You have. That's what Ronald used to tell me. He's like, I love you for who you are and everything that you are. And your looks are just a bonus. Has he said that to you, girl? Because that's his line. Has he dedicated, thank you for loving me by Bon Jovi? <laughs> because, bon Jovi! <laughs> because, 
because he's full of it. And never again will I listen to another lie that comes out of his mouth. And Lauren, you message me whenever you want. Don't let him tell you what to do. If you want to figure it out for yourself, if you want screenshots, if you want video recordings, proof, anything, you message me, girl, whenever you're ready, which I know is going to take a while to be ready and realize he's a flaming bag of clouds. But yeah, let's see his post. <laughs> 